What's up, Nalgas fam? Welcome back to my channel. Hey, if you are new to this channel, I am Jesus Nalgas. Welcome. By the way, you guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to turn on the bell notification. And you guys, most important, if you, yes you, if you want to become part of the Team Nalgas, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below, you guys, and become part of the Team Nalgas, you guys. I'm going to give you guys five seconds. Five four three two and one welcome back and welcome to the nalgas family yo um so as you guys know i promised you guys a q a so you guys want to be nosy here we go let's be nosy together to all my chismosos chismosas that want to know about me i'm here to answer your questions as you guys um as you guys know I asked you guys on my Instagram story to ask me some preguntas, some questions, and uh, you guys definitely did ask me some interesting ones. So I'm going to be answering the questions that you guys asked me on my Instagram, um, and let's see what you guys want to know. Before we get started, you guys, I know you guys see uh, a cup here. Oh, by the way, who has their Team Nalgas cup? If you want to purchase this, this cup, you guys, go to my Instagram or at Little Lattes on Instagram. And you're going to be able to purchase this cup, your official Team Nalgas cup. And yeah, you guys, enjoy your coffee on it. So, I'm going to... I don't know if you guys seen my Instagram story that I wanted to be a Starbucks employee. So, I decided to make my own coffee yesterday. So, I went ahead and did that. And nobody told me that cold brew is really strong. So I filled the cup up, literally all the way up. If you watch the story on my Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. But we're going to give it a second try. And I'm going to make my own iced coffee while I answer your questions that you guys asked me on my Instagram. I'm kind of nervous, you guys, because whew, you guys went in on the questions. So let's see. What happens? Let's see what I wanna answer. Not just playing you guys. I'm gonna try to answer not all of them, you guys, because some are like repeated, but you know, just the ones that I feel like you guys will get to know me a little better, okay? So let's get started, you guys. First, let's get started with making my coffee so I could like have energy. I'm gonna use this cold brew right here. By the way, you guys, literally one of the questions says, Can you do a YouTube video showing us how to make different iced coffees? You guys, I don't work for Starbucks, but I try. So we're gonna try to make iced coffee. So let's see, you guys. I don't know if you guys could actually see this. Let me just get started with the questions, by the way, as well, but while I do the coffee. Well, let's start with this first one that I got, like, a couple. What are your recommendations on being a YouTuber, and how did you start? Okay, you guys, my recommendations... Whoa, it's strong. My recommendations on being a YouTuber, let's see. Um, Definitely... I... How can I say this? I really don't have a specific, there's no specific way on how you become a, I still think I put a lot, but a well. There's no specific way on how to tell you guys how to become a YouTuber, you know, because at the end of the day, all this hard work that you put 100% on YouTube is definitely just being yourself. I feel like once you're comfortable with yourself, once you're comfortable on being who you are, on being comfortable in your skin, um, just admitting your flaws, and you're able to show that on camera, I feel like that's a big step on being real on YouTube. Because if you go on YouTube and say, so you guys, I want to talk professionally, I want to do this, I want to do that, people are going to notice how fake you are, and they're not going to like mess with your channel, you know? Um, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it did take me a lot, it take, it took me a lot to, you know, kind of like grow my, my channel in a way, it wasn't hard, but at the end of the day, it's something that, um, I enjoy doing, you know, I enjoy doing 24-7 of my, 24-7 of my life is like, you know, making videos, I wanted to be, I'm sorry, I wanted to be 24-7 of my life making videos for you guys, but, um, just be yourself, be confident, and just go for it. Don't think about it, just film. Just be yourself in a camera, like if you're actually, you know, 
if there's actually just like you know people watching you you know like feel like some you're talking to somebody that's really close to you and you really 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 care for because i care for you guys you guys mean a lot to me because you know how hard is it to for people to click that subscribe button it's really hard yes i understand but at the end of the day it's just you know just be yourself and i promise you you'll get results okay guys let's get started with this iced coffee <sighs> I'm going to use this pumpkin spice cold brew because it is Halloween season still. And I love pumpkin spice. One of my favorite Starbucks drinks is actually pumpkin spice. I just don't know how much to add. Okay, that's about it. A little more maybe. I think I'm going to need to add a little more cold brew. I'm not sure. We'll see you guys. And then I'm just going to add this regular creamer that everybody adds. So I could get it like a little more flavor on it, you know. Yo, making iced coffee, I definitely do like the, like, transformation of it and all that. Now let's just shake it and see if it's good, you know. Let's see. Starbucks, if this is good, if this is good, you guys better hire me. Whoa. Okay, I think it needs a little more coffee. Yes, it does. But other than that, it's amazing. Try it out, you guys. I promise you guys won't regret it. And it's, you guys, it's just really, really good, yo. Mm. There you go. Honestly, 9 out of 10. <laughs> okay, I'm lying, like 8. But it's bomb, you know? Hey, bomb. But yeah, you guys, um... <laughs> Um, work. Also, you guys, you have to invest. When you want to do, um, when you want to grow your platform, you obviously want to invest, like, on a camera, on a laptop, whatever you want. It doesn't have to be the most expensive ones, you guys. As long as you guys know how to use them and you guys know how to, like, work them out, like, in a way, um, you're going to be fine. Also, it doesn't matter. You could use your phone 100% and it, would, it wouldn't make a difference at all, you know? Just... Be yourself, invest, it takes time, and be patient, and, you know, just keep to success, yo. Remain humble and just be your, um, be yourself. The same thing, you guys, what made you start your YouTube? Okay, where do you see your channel growing? Um, let's see, where do I see my channel growing? Honestly, uh, to be, to keep it 100% with you guys, I don't know. I don't have plans. I don't want goals here on YouTube. I just want to go and be free and just let it be. Ooh, that sounded like a rap. <laughs> just let it be, you know? Just let it be and definitely just go with the flow. I'm not going to think about, oh, this video better blow up. This video better blow up. I better get a thousand views. I better get paid for this video. Honestly, you guys, that's not my intentions. I just want to post videos. If one, two, five millions, two thousand, a thousand, five hundred, six hundred and ninety-nine people watch my videos, it doesn't make a difference to me. If I see that at least somebody, if I get one view to me, honestly... That's all that matters because I know that somebody's watching my videos. I really don't have a goal on YouTube. Honestly, uh, yes. To be completely honest, I would love it to grow and for us to grow as a family. Because you guys, importantly, when you start your channel, you have to understand that you kind of need a goal. And like, you know, I'm growing this platform. Like for me, you guys, I want to go, I want to grow this positive community and just become part of the Nagas team. Why? Because I want to be so positive with you guys. I want to give you guys the confidence to, you know, um, start your own channel, start your own TikTok. You know, it's just, I guess you could say that's my goal to, um, get people to like be themselves and, oh, sorry you guys. And just like, um, just live life happily and comfortable comfortable you know that's where i see my channel going if it grows good if it, and if it's like taking time you know it is what it is you got to be patient um did you get your nose pierced tell me why i got this uh question like three times um i got my nose pierced around like i'm gonna say two years ago uh, long story short, my mom didn't let me, but I got it, and then I came home, and she almost whooped my ass, and then I took it off, and then I went to go get it again, and then she saw me that I got it again, and then she got over it, and she's all like, whatever, just keep it, but you know, I'm, I don't approve of it, and it is what it is, I actually got it with the gun, it, did, it didn't hurt at all, and 
one I it did get infected but I do have a concussion that will literally make it uninfected in a day because I know you guys get a little buff they're called keloids I know how to get rid of them so if you need that advice comment down below and I will tell you what to do to get rid of them so that's my nose piercing um story I don't know if you guys can really see it but it's right there where do you see yourself in 10 years wow that's a deep question um Where do I see myself in 10 years? I'm going to be honest with you. If I were, like, close, if I were to close my eyes and, like, kind of, like, travel 10 years from now, I honestly would like for me to accomplish one of some of my goals. Definitely buying my parents a house. That's one of my goals, you guys, because my parents mean the world to me. This is one of the reasons why I'm doing this because they pushed me. They helped me so much before, and I feel like... It's my turn to help them out because they gave everything to me. But, you know, I, I also see myself just, you know, having my own clothing line. Having a lot of collabs that I always dreamt of. And just living my dreams. Hopefully happy. It's impossible, you know. Because sometimes life is going to give you a lot of, you know ups and downs so you know i'm ready for them though so i definitely just see myself being successful in the way that i am um trying to accomplish accomplish my dreams you know to start my own youtube i also want to do reality tv so hopefully one of these days you guys see me on the big screen we'll see right and you know um this is crazy, you guys, but I also see myself taking out at least a song because singing always been part of my life. So I definitely want to like to at least record one song. And, you know, so you guys could hear that singing was once part of me. You know, I used to be in a choir for 10 years. So I definitely owe you guys like, you know, a little preview of how I used to sing. And yeah, um, just basically... Not perfect because nobody's perfect, but definitely I see myself accomplishing a lot of my goals that I have right now. That's where I see myself in 10 years, you know. And like I'm saying, buying my parents a house, buying myself a house as well, my dream car. Just basically just accomplishing all the goals that I have that I know I'm going to be able to do it because I just feel so positive right now, you guys. And it's all about en energy. Um... Oh, somebody said, why don't you check your DMs? <laughs> okay, uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, this question. I really don't like this one. What is it like to be TikTok famous? Um, if you guys know me 100%, I always tell you guys I don't believe in fame. I don't believe in, um, being famous. To me, being famous is irrelevant. Uh... Like I said, you guys, some people want to be famous just to be famous. And that sucks. I I, I guess that's what it's called when people are known. And people are like, you know, on social media, on the industry, you're famous. But I feel like we're all the same. And I hate labeling you guys. So, uh, honestly, I just don't. I, it, it feels good that I get a lot of support, if that's what you mean, you know. It feels really good. It feels like I'm doing something good. And from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate it. And definitely, yeah, it feels amazing, the, the support you get. But if you call it being famous, I, I understand. But uh, it's like 50-50, you know. Um, there's definitely a lot of rude comments that you need to be able to take the heat on. But other than that, it's just amazing how... A lot of people support you without even knowing who you where you live or where you are you know it means a lot it means a lot a lot a lot uh let's see um damn 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 Ooh. okay what's your daily routine like uh and then this is monday to friday um i wake up Eat, wash my teeth, after that, brush my hair. I'm not on plane, I don't brush my hair, you guys. Just, you know, definitely get ready for work and then just come home. Maybe go live on TikTok, do some videos, you know, clean my room, buy some Billy stuff, listen to Billy, listen to music. Um, And then during my free days, you guys, I definitely like to go out with my uh, close friends. Um, I really don't have friends, you guys, to be completely honest. Um, and yeah, basically, you guys, just go out, have fun, go eat, go to uh, public places, you know, like, 
just have fun, you know, just have a little, especially right now during COVID, you, we, can, we can't really go out, but, you know, I used to love to go to Disney, to Universal. I'm just like an outgoing guy. I drink, yes, I do, I'm gonna be honest, but not as much, only like um, in fun times. Um, but other than that, just a normal, regular life, you know, film videos for you guys. And, oh, this bit, this question, you guys. But yeah, that's what my daily routine is like. Um, when can you drop water bottles? What? If you would have finished college, what would have been your major? Um, if I would have continued going to school, you guys, if I would have finished college, um, I would definitely want to be in the industry of like the film. I would like to be, I kind of would like to write, um, be a producer, a director. I've always, I've always was aiming for that. You know, always in life, you guys, I was aiming to kind of like be in the industry, like in the entertainment industry, either by filming, by producing, direct, you know, I would just like to be in that industry. So definitely, if I were to finish college, if I were to have a degree, I would definitely want it to um, be like either in film or like, you know, kind of like just something in the entertainment business definitely i regret it but uh it is what it is school is not for everybody um uh how did you become a billy eilish lover why do you love billy so much blah 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 why is billy why are you obsessed with billy 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 okay you guys billy eilish let me tell you guys why i'm so obsessed with by the way i am rocking billy um you guys you know when you you know, everybody is a big fan of somebody, right? Let me tell you guys why I personally love Billy. I feel like Billy gave me so much courage, inspiration on being myself. When I first heard Billy was... <coughs> Whoa. When I first heard Billy, you guys, I, um... One of my cousins, you guys, you know who you are, shout out to you, cousin. She um she showed me Billy and I and she was like, Hey, have you ever heard of her? And I was like, No, I never heard of her. Let me see. And we started listening to her, all her albums, and I went like, Whoa, I never seen somebody that's so alike to me. This is the style of music that I would love to sing if I were to like take my singing somewhere. This is, yo, I was like, this is amazing. So I was definitely like, I fell in love automatically with Billy Ocean Eyes. That was the first song that I listened to. And um, other than that, it was history, you guys. I feel like Billy is my spirit animal. She's my uh, motivation. She gives me so much, um, you know, just confidence to be myself, to make, not not make videos, you guys, but just definitely like, just be myself her style you guys i love her style i feel like you know being in like kind of like overweight you guys sometimes it's really hard to you know be who you are like in like dressing dressing wise you know like on wearing um certain shirt wearing certain certain pants shoes because you know you already have attention because you kind of like oversized and people look at you either way but she inspired me to wear whatever the hell i want and yeah, I love her style. I'm not going to say I copy her, but, you know, half of the clothes that I have is Billy either way. So, um, yeah, you guys, I she just inspires me in so many ways. If she ever sees this video, you guys, I promise, I promise you guys, I will faint. And I know for a fact in my heart that we're going to collab soon. I would love, one of my goals, one of my dreams is to make a clothing line with her. Like, kind of like... Featuring Billy, like in a way. Oh God, you guys, I'm gonna make that happen. I know it's gonna happen for me. I know it is. <sighs> but that's the reason why I love Billy Eilish. Okay. Favorite food and drink and best childhood memory. Oh, that's a good one, you guys. So let's see. Um, favorite food. Um, you guys, I love food. I know. You know what's crazy, you guys? I don't even eat as much. I know I'm big, and a lot of people think that's the reason why, but I don't even eat as much for me to be big. Um, but I def I love Chick-fil-A. I love Chick-fil-A. But Japanese food is one of my favorite as well. So, I would say like Japanese food, but I love Chick-fil-A Chick as well. So, kind of like chicken burgers, I guess. 
Favorite drink, uh, I love fruit punch, lemonade, all that, all day, every day. Lemonade, something that involves lemonade, I love it automatically. I just like the tropical, I'm into that tropical like vibe, you know? Mm -hmm. Freshly squeezed lemonade, lemonade, all day, every day. Childhood memory. Um, one of the best childhood memories, you guys, is, um, I'm gonna say when my parents will take me and my, uh, siblings to Disneyland every year. Um, we haven't done it at, we stopped, um, we stopped going to Disneyland, um, uh, oh, you guys, I can't even speak. Um, we stopped going to Disneyland, I'm gonna say, like 2015 you know 14 around there we stopped going because we got you know we got a little sister and it was a little harder you know my parents never really had um you know enough money like that you know it was like it was a privilege for us to go to disney and um i am a big disney fan you guys as you guys know i did work at disney before and um yeah you guys those memories i would never forget them because they would do the best for us to go to Disney and their memories that are always gonna be in my heart because we would have some such a good time there you know my family like ah oh, it was just amazing you guys we would go every year for my birthday you guys every year for my birthday I would tell my mom mom I don't want a birthday party I don't want none of that I don't want a phone I just want to go to Disney with you guys and just have an amazing time and oh you guys I'm about to get emotional cuz You guys, my family ain't perfect, but what the fuck? It's just, you know, your parents would always do the best to give you what you want. And right now we're going through like this big family problem. And um, this will stop. Wow. Okay, guys, my bad. Um, I got so emotional, you guys, because like I'm saying right now, we're going through this big family problem, and it sucks, you guys. Families aren't perfect, but, um, hey, at least, you know, every time you're with them, th my family means the world to me, you guys. They mean everything to me. I would do anything for them. So, for when, like, my parents, you know, they would always, you know, sacrifice. They would always do their best to take us to Disney and give me the best childhood memories that I have, and, um... Let me get some coffee because shit got real, right? And, um, <laughs> oh, I cussed, you guys. Oh. By the way, you guys, we got monetized on YouTube. Hey! <laughs> you guys, sorry, I needed to think of, like, happy, you know, thoughts because, as you guys seen, I got really emotional. And thank you, guys. Thanks for that. But, yeah, you guys, that's my best childhood memory and will always be and will always have it in my heart. How me and my family would, you know, we would just have an amazing time there. So that's one of my best childhood memories. Um, what was the first song you heard from Billie Eilish? Ocean Eyes. I mentioned it already. Um, biggest insecurities. Insecure. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Biggest insecurities. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Uh. I feel like I do have some, but I feel like at the moment right now, I'm in a place where I am super confident with myself. I am super um, happy, you know, with all the goals that I'm accomplishing, with my career going where I want it to go, with with my dreams, you know, getting results. Um, I'm just going to say, I feel like one of my biggest insecurities um it's not being scared to be um, a failure or like, you know, not accomplishing what I want to accomplish is, you know, I sometimes get very, you know, I could have like very, very, my confidence level could be all the way in the top. But as soon as I see somebody like, you know, kind of sometimes bringing me down, it, it does go down a little, but I start remembering who I am and why I'm doing this and it goes all the way up but other than that I'm not even gonna say my weight maybe it's something yes I don't like about myself I'm gonna be completely honest but I'm comfortable 
do I want to be like this my whole life? Do I want to be fat my whole life? No. Do I want to do something about it? Yes. Have I done something about it? Yes. But let me tell you guys, don't ever, ever listen to me, you guys. And this is from the bottom of my heart. Don't ever lose weight for somebody. Do it for yourself. Because if you don't want to lose weight and people are telling you to lose weight, you're not going to lose it because you're not telling yourself that you want to. Do it because you want to. I know you love yourself already, but you just need that confidence of like losing the weight. Ooh. Losing the weight to love yourself more, go for it. But don't do it because people are telling you to. Do it because you want to do it for yourself, for you. I hate scam likely. And uh, other than that, you guys, I would say that I guess kind of like being a failure in life. Um, oh, this question. When did you lose your virginity? <sighs> you guys are funny. Um, Mom, if you see this, I'm sorry, but 15. We're not going to get into details because I don't want to get demonetized, but 15. There you go. 15 years old. 15. I feel like it's a okay age, you know? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my God, I'm going to hell. Um, okay, you guys. This question, I'm asked a lot. Favorite influencer? Who would you like to collab? Do you see any big collabs coming real soon? Do you? Um, are you looking forward to collaborate with any YouTubers you have in mind? Okay. My favorite influencers right now that influenced me that I would love to collab um you guys all these big youtubers yes they're amazing I admire their hard work I admire who they took the time to follow their dreams and become who they are right now I admire them I look up to them yes I do even though I don't like them I look up to them because I understand how they were before and um their dreams that they had I feel like we could all compare our dreams to each other and you know we're like yeah I agree with you 100% because we, we're all on YouTube we're all doing um we're all doing this and you guys the YouTube industry is big enough for everybody right you just have to learn how to get there but I'm gonna have to say my biggest influencers right now um they're like they're pretty known, you guys. They did reality TV. They're called the Victor Twins. I don't know if you guys know them. If they ever see them, if they ever see this, I want to say that you guys give me so much positive vibe. Even though you guys have a lot of hate, ignore the haters. I, hey, when you have haters, you're doing something good. But they influence me because they are so real. They're so real. And um, they definitely um, are somebody that I admire how they put their life out there and they're just doing good and keep doing what you're doing um gabby danny you guys are amazing um who else you guys but i would like to collaborate definitely alanite a lot of people will say they would love to see me um with alanite with rosa you know adam shout out to him you guys i see myself a lot in adam in a way that he um, also started on TikTok, you know. I'm not going to say I'm the biggest TikToker in the world because his story is different than mine. He definitely did get um, fame out of TikTok. He, it grew so, it grew tremendously, like, fast, his fame. And, um, shout out to him for all his hard work. And I would definitely like to see a collab. I know you guys would like, like to see a collab as well. But other than that, you guys, I wouldn't mind collabing with no, with... I would love to collab with everybody. If, only if I don't like you, I have to keep it real. There's some influencers that I will never collab with. But other than that, I wouldn't mind collabing with nobody. You don't even have to be famous for me to collab. I know a lot of people, a lot of, um, a lot of YouTubers, they want to collab because, you know, we're, we have the same following or, you know, we're in the same level. But, you know, it is what it is. I understand some don't collab if you have, if you're like, you know, you're kind of there, but you're not there, and they don't want you to use them for fame. You know, you have to be careful with that because there's people that will literally just want to use you for fame, you guys. To me, you guys, if I see that you are doing what I'm doing and you're trying to grow out there, I would love to support, you know. I love to support small businesses, small YouTube channels, small, small TikTokers. I love that, you guys, because 
I feel like I'm I'm in that level as be um I'm being a small TikToker and you know it's moving on. Um what is your daily motivation? My motivation, you guys, is um myself. I like to motivate myself to be somebody better every day, every day of life, you guys. Um, yes, we all make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. We're not God. But, you know, I motivate myself a lot. But people that give me motivation is my parents, 100%. You know, they mean the world to me. And I would always look up to them because there's somebody that I want to be. Um, I want to be just like my parents, you guys, hardworking, 100% down for their family. I want to do that. And um, my brothers, you guys, they give me so much motivation as well. I just love my family, guys. I'm a very, I'm very family orientated, so, you know, I love them. I'm very protected over them. I would never, ever replace them with nothing. If they were offer me a million dollars, a big career on YouTube, um, if they were offering anything that I really want, but I would have to leave my parents or forget about them or leave my siblings. I wouldn't take it, you guys. Because without them, without your parents, it's like for what, you know? Yes, I would be happy. I would have my goals. But my parents mean the world to me. My family means the world to me. And I get so emotional when I talk about them, you guys. I don't want to cry again, but yeah, you guys. I just feel like they motivate me a lot, but definitely just life itself as well, you know? Just, you know, I see this evolvement that I'm, you know, every day you evolve, so I see it. And it's just amazing how I am able to do things that I would have never thought I would have been doing, you know? And yeah, other than that, it's just amazing how I feel like my goals are getting are getting there and are gonna get accomplished because I know I feel it in my heart and I see your support so I'm just like yo I know I could do this I know I was meant for this so why not you know so definitely that's what I um uh, that what that's what motivates me okay what else what else um if you could have any job in the world what would it be Damn, that's a good question. Uh, if I could have any job in the world, honestly, I wouldn't change a thing. I wouldn't, I would love to have all the time in the wheels for you guys to keep on, um, to have full time, to have the full time to keep on doing videos for you guys, to, you know, accomplishing my goals. Um, definitely, you know, working on my, on my dreams full-time I would love to have I'm, I don't think I mean you know what YouTube is a job it is a job because it's a lot of hard work all the editing all the um all the time you need to have to edit your videos all the time you need to have to you know um just basically have time for it because YouTube is a lot of commitment time and patient you guys and I feel like yes it is a job for a lot of people that are like dude it's just YouTube come on but no, you guys, it's a paying job, and um, I wouldn't change this in the world because I feel like I was meant to do this. So definitely either being a producer or a director or working in the industry of a fil of filming or, you know, even acting. I would like to be an actor as well, but that would be my dream. This is, this is my dream job, and I know I'm going to be full-time one of these days for you guys because without your support... I won't be able to do it, and I'm getting so much support right now. And, yo, you guys just mean the world to me, honestly. You guys mean the world to me. Oh, biggest pet peeve. Uh, I hate fake people, you guys. I hate fake, pe I hate fake people that put a show on social media, and you know who they really are in real life. Stop being fake. And definitely poop, um, people that chew loud, like... I hate that. I hate that. I hate copycats as well. I have a lot of them, you guys. Uh, somebody says to say, that sucks. <laughs> I know you guys love that. Um, what city are you from? I'm from LA, you guys. The LA area. Here we go. 
the question you guys all been waiting for. Is your last name really Nalgas? Why is your name Jesus Nalgas? Is Nalgas your real name? Wait, why is his la why is his username Jesus Nalgas? Where did you get Jesus Nalgas from? Oh my god, you guys, I've been getting that question every day of my life. And here's your answer. My name is Jesus Nalgas because I lie big butts and I cannot lie. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you guys. Um, here's a story behind Jesus Nalgas, you guys. Um, I have big Nalgas, so you know, I'm just saying, you guys, I don't even have Nalgas myself, so it makes it more awkward. But here you go. I got Jesus Nalgas on high school, you guys. Um, Ever since high school, you guys, my Instagram been Jesus Nalgas. If you went to high school with me, you know what I'm talking about. Um, So basically, when Instagram started popping, you guys, you know, when Instagram was barely a thing, when everybody was barely leaving Facebook because our parents took over, Instagram came, right? So in high school, you guys, we all had squads. I don't know if you guys remember, but in high school, we all, we all had our own squads. And, um... So it came in time it came a time on Instagram where everybody from the squad would have to put the same username. So for some reason, I forgot who came up with this name, but people were like, hey, we're we all we are all gonna put Nalgas on our username at the end. So for example, if your name is Kimberly, your name is gonna be Kimberly Nalgas. If your name is Jose, Jose Nalgas. If your name is Billy, Billy Nalgas. Hey, Billy Nalgas. Jesus, Jesus Nalgas. So you guys get the point. So everybody did it. Um, the squad started to become fake. So everybody started like boom. It become fake. It became fake. And bam. I was the only one that stuck to the name. And I kept the name ever since high school. And I've been Jesus Nalgas ever since. Ow. So that's been, that's definitely been the story of Jesus Nalgas, you guys. It's not something big, but for you guys, you're just like, why is his name Nalgas, you know? So that's how Nalgas came, you guys, and it became something really big of my YouTube, uh, YouTube business, YouTube career, Instagram, TikTok. That's how I am, and that's how everybody knows me. El Nalgas, El Nalgón, Nalgas, Jesus Nalgas. I, don't, I hope I don't get demonetized here, but... Yeah, you guys, is it professional? No, but at the end of the day, um, it's just a name that stuck with me, and I, I'm not planning to change it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to. Either way, um, hopefully, you know, uh, it doesn't it doesn't have, like, you know, problems with the, like, industry or something like that. But I'm pretty sure it is. It is what it is. Um, but for now, you guys, look at all the ice. For, for now, it is what it is, and... That's how Jesus Nalgas was born. By high school, you guys. By my squad in high school. By the way, shout out to all of you guys. I hope you guys are all doing good. Even though we don't even talk no more. But I remember the Nalgas squad. And it is what it is. So, you guys. um, I know this video is already long. I hope you guys watched it to the end. And I'm super happy you guys showed me all the support. I'm about to end this video right here. Um, what else can I say, you guys? I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart that you guys show me all this support, show me all this, um, you know, get, like my pictures, follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram, on Twitter. You guys mean the world to me. Without you guys, I won't be able to do this. You guys are the reason I am who I am, and that's it, you guys. Other than that, you guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to turn on the bell notification. And most important, you guys, don't forget to become by, uh, part of the Team Nalgas by subscribing. By the way, you guys, I do have official Team Nalgas merch. If you're interested on in buying a shirt, only $25. I'm going to leave, leave the um, info down below. Here's a picture of the shirt. Add me on Instagram if you want to purchase one, you guys. Um, it will mean a lot from the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys so much for the support. And um, all I can say, you guys, that I am very grateful. And I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. And thank you guys for getting to know me a little better. I'll catch you guys in my next video.